Electricity is the lifeline of a civilization. Coal-based thermal power plants in India account for more than 65% of the installed capacity and 70% of electricity generation. Besides producing electricity, these thermal power plants also produce huge quantity of coal ash. During 2005-2006, coal ash generation was about 112 million tons, out of which about 45% was utilized gainfully in various works. India is amongst the leading nations in the field of construction industry. Bricks are the most common building material used in construction activities. Clay bricks have so far been used in construction works. Have you ever thought that by using soil in the manufacturing of bricks, we are not only eroding the upper layer of soil, but are also causing major damage to the environment. Concerned with the degradation of environment by manufacturing of clay bricks, Ministry of Environment and Forests issued a Gazette notification on 14th September 1999, making it compulsory to use at least 25% fly ash in clay ash brick manufacturing. Further, its amendment dated 27th August 2003 also makes it mandatory for all construction works within 100 km of a thermal power station to use ash bricks and other ash based products in all construction works. Fly ash generated in coal based thermal power stations is a very versatile material and can be gainfully utilized in making of clay fly ash bricks fly ash lime bricks or fly ash cement bricks. This film covers the various aspects involved in making of fly ash lime bricks and fly ash cement bricks. Fly ash is a pozzolanic material. This means that fly ash on its own is not cementitious but acquires cementitious properties once it gets in touch with lime and water. The process of fly ash brick making uses this property of fly ash to acquire additional strength. Raw materials required for making fly ash bricks are fly ash, sand or stone dust, and lime plus gypsum or ordinary Portland cement OPC. The manufacturing process of ash bricks requires proportionate mixture of fly ash, sand or stone dust, lime and gypsum. Lime and gypsum are first ground in pan mixer with optimum water. Ash and sand or stone dust are then added to form a uniform mixture. When cement is used in place of lime and gypsum, fly ash and sand or stone dust is first mixed in pan mixture and then cement is added to have a uniform dry mixture. Water is added into the pan mixer once the uniform dry mixture of fly ash, sand or stone dust and cement is achieved. The mixture is then transferred to a molding machine. In the molding machine, the mixture is either hydraulically pressed
or compacted through vibratory press. Once the bricks are taken out of the mould, they are air dried for about one or two days. Water curing is then done for about 14 days to achieve required strength. The quality of bricks produced by this process depends on the following factors. Quality of raw material, proportioning of raw materials, handling and mixing of raw materials, handling and pressing of the mix and curing. Fly ash for use in making bricks should preferably be from first or second fields of electrostatic precipitator. However, pond ash can also be gainfully utilized for making ash bricks. While selecting sand or stone dust, care has to be taken to ensure that deleterious materials such as clay and silt in sand or stone dust are not more than 5%. Hydrated lime of C grade is to be used. This should be free from extraneous materials and lumps to the extent possible. However, sludge lime of consistently good quality can also be used. Gypsum to be used should be free of lumps. Purity of gypsum should be above 80%. Alternately, ordinary Portland cement OPC can also be used in place of lime and gypsum as binding material. Proportioning of raw materials is an important aspect of ensuring quality of ash bricks. The proportioning will depend on the quality of the raw materials and the class of brick required. Generally, following mix proportion gives compressive strength of 75 to 100 kg per square centimeter. Fly ash 60 to 65 percent, sand or stone dust 18 to 27 percent, hydrated lime 8 to 12 percent and gypsum 5 percent. Second, fly ash 55 to 60 percent, sand or stone dust 20 to 25 percent, sludge lime 15 to 20 percent and gypsum 5 percent. Third, fly ash 50 to 60 percent, sand or stone dust 32 to 40 percent and ordinary Portland cement OPC 8 to 10 percent. <laughs>